Hello, welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got something really different. This is one of those kits as a you know reviewer, and I review hundreds of kits every year and all the rest of it. Sometimes you see something in the trade papers, online, on a different site, on a forum, something like that, and you think, I want one of them. Okay, even before I've even looked in the box, and to be honest with you, I haven't even looked in the box of this because we've got something a little bit special today. So what we've got here is the Angry Phoenix, the AIM-54 missile done by Sabre. Now, again, I've never heard of the company, I know nothing about it, but as soon as I saw it, I thought, I want one. So, you know, obviously, uh, here at Flory Models, we always have our Easter uh, little SIG, and a lot of it is the egg planes and the fun stuff, and these type of sheepy characters and things like that. So this is definitely what I'll be doing it for this year. But again, I haven't even looked in the box, which is the weird thing for this one. Anyway, it says, a quickly assembled, without cutting, Create personalized painting scheme, decals and clue for a random number of combinations. So this is the AIM-54 Phoenix. So if you don't know, this is the AIM-54 Phoenix, which actually goes onto the F-14 Tomcat, which is the only aircraft I actually am aware of that ever carried it. Uh, so it was a partnership between it. it this thing's got a range best range is like 200 miles i don't think it ever actually went that far but uh capable of obviously downing bombers and things like that in the height of the cold war um so yes absolutely incredible weapon uh to go along with the tomcat and as a massive tomcat fan this is just part of it okay so the box itself has got a little bit with the caddy work type things on it probably look on the close-up as you can see just down in here that's what we're going with. How cool is that? Okay, there isn't much on here. CT001 is your part number for it. Okay, but what you do get is the instructions are actually on the back. Okay, so we can probably just walk through the instructions here. It's that easy. If two halves go together, the fins go on, the eyebrows sort of go on, the nozzle, okay, uh, and the teeth. Okay, a couple of different angles. You put the studs in for its collar, because obviously it's like a Rottweiler type appearance. Okay. It's got a couple of bits down here, drilling holes for obviously the stand uh, to put it in like that. And then over here, we've actually got the uh, color call outs. But obviously it is personalized. You could do it in whatever scheme you liked really. Um, I happen to quite like the one that is on the box. So in the box, we are greeted by this, which again is not what I expected. So down in here, not only do you get one, you get two, which is what's even better than one, two. Okay, so down in here, together we have two angry phoenixes which are i don't know if you've taken them sometimes they take them nope okay. so again you doesn't even have to get it off a sprue if i get it out of here but i don't want to ping it and lose any bits as such but technically <coughs> this will give us our type of look so this is what you actually get and actually to be honest I think that's too bad it's pretty nice it looks like it's a, a one-piece injection molded I can't actually find a sprue where it's actually been on a sprue I assume it, it must have been on a sprue with a load of them they wouldn't just mold ones off but there we go but generally that's how you get it we've got the other side just down in here okay so you can actually, obviously, with the two halves to go in together, give you an idea of the scale of this thing. That is how big he is going to be. Okay, very small, very cute, but you do get two, so you could do two color options. Furthermore, just down in here, as you can see, we've actually got the eyebrows, we've got the teeth. There's your teeth. Uh, some of the other teeth. And then obviously we've got the uh, control surfaces down the back and then over here we've got the studs and the riveting as well and this little guy down in here I assume is the stand for it which it is so this is you get a little stand for it just kind of like that decals if you can call them that okay <coughs> would be there we go so we've just got some serial numbers and generic numbering so you can number it to whatever you want with this one okay so again, very, very nice. And I assume the other one is exactly the same, which they are. So it's just a, a dual pack with the decals on there, just like that. How cool is that? You know, sometimes I always say in modeling, you can get really bogged down 
in the details, shall we say. And I always say every now and again, it's nice to have a mojo build where you can just do something and it doesn't matter because there's no right or wrong. This isn't real. You can't get called out because it's the wrong color. It's got the wrong markings on it or it's two inches too much to the left or something because at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's just literally a little bit of fun. But if you're an F14 fan and obviously an A54 fan, you're gonna wanna have this because it will just look very, very cool on your office or on your workbench or in your display cabinet or just everywhere you want to give it or give it away as a gift or literally something else like that because I do think he's very very cool and I think as I say it'll be interesting to see at the show circuit you know throughout the year what different people do with them because it's totally custom all as well. So there we go, that is the Angry Phoenix Missile in I have no idea what scale or anything else like that by Sabre.